Hello to my Virgos. Happy new moon. Happy new moon. We made it. Made it to the other side, Virgos. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. This is just a bonus video. You'll see a Freedom Friday message going up either later today or tomorrow. That's right. Let's do it. You made it to the other side. You made it to the other side. Was there some things that you needed to purge in order to make it to the other side? Let's see what that is. Let's go. First card out of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. We also have the Knight of Cups. We also have the Queen of Swords in reverse. We also have the Seven of Swords. We also have the Hangman and then also the Death card, right? Somebody was really, really craving possibly a good friend, maybe a, um, you know, just loyalty, like possibly creating something that was actually adding to your joy and not taking away. But you had to learn that you were your own soulmate in order to even communicate that to another person, what your boundaries are and to enforce those. The moon, the new moon is in Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, which is a very serious planet. It's the planet of maturity and authority, but also boundaries. So somebody didn't have, somebody was just going along with the flow of things, right? And so you may be still processing your thoughts. Here we have the queen of swords right here. Somebody may not feel like they feel like vetting their thoughts right now because what you could have gone through, you could have gone through such toxicity. It literally felt like a death, right? A death. But source is saying to you, hang in there, hang in there. Family is very important to you all. Um, relationships are very important to you all. And so source is saying, when you get to a point where your thoughts, your, your thoughts and your words about certain people, places and things are not at the highest frequency, when you got to say things like I could strangle that energy, or I know they hiding secrets and they're this and that, and they're a narcissist and they're a psychopath, a sociopath, and it's not favorable. It's taking you down off of your throne. Sources saying that's when it's time for you to move, like physically get away from them, physically get away from them. I know somebody's going to say, well, I mean, it's not that cut and dry. Start the process of asking source for an exodus strategy so that your words don't cre further create a more of a nightmare reality. Start that process of opening up your mouth. If you can't physically get away from certain types of people, start saying, source, I need an exodus strategy. Even if that means let them cut you off first, anything, let them cut me off. So I, so I can say, okay, we'll just accept your, your ending it with me. Okay. I'll accept it. Thank you. So this is where a source is saying, use your creativity. And that's what a soulmate coming into your life is. But you got to also recognize that you're your soulmate as well. So how can you communicate to another energy what you need? How can you send out that energy into the universe? If you don't even know what adds to your joy. So this is the year of wealth. So definitely some energies coming across your path are going to add wealth of creativity into your life. Like I said, when you don't know how to leave the path, when you feel like, okay, I'm stuck in the past and I'm trying to move on from the past. That's where that creativity, I feel overwhelmed. I believe I'm overwhelmed. I believe my past is trying to resurface. Why am I feeling like this again? Open up your mouth to say, source, I need an exodus. Thank you for an exodus strategy out of this. Here we have the two of wands so I can continue moving forward. Somebody has the whole world in front of them. Don't step down off of your throne because of negative thoughts about people, places, and things. So it's the same because it's you versus you. Um, <clears throat> there, what somebody what the, at the highest frequency, you recognize it's those parts of yourself that you want to recognize those are the parts of myself I need to sharpen my creativity. See how this um this this water is are in containers. So it's just like somebody needs to learn how to protect their energy by emotionally removing themselves from a situation that could cause your water to spill all over the place. Right? So you're getting very clear messages to leave the past behind. Leave the past behind, leave that past, allowing yourself to get to a point of drowning in your emotions where your belief systems about people, places, and things are the absolute lowest, the worst. Here we also have the queen of wands or even entertaining conversations about it, right? So you're now your third eye is open and now you're about to get booked and busy. 
But again, if you go back to that wilderness, like, you know, I'm lost, I don't feel inspired, I feel exhausted and drained, get your rest, reset, and say, okay, I need to turn this queen of swords from reverse upright. I need to change my way of thinking because I don't want that thinking to create, to um, become an even worse reality, right? So... That's what I'm seeing for you. That's what I'm seeing for you. So something is definitely over. Something that was causing burnout. And, and Source is saying, I'm giving you a pass to go ahead and keep on moving forward to leave that burnout behind. Leave it behind. And so that fresh cup of water is just what somebody needed. But you had to dip inside. You had to tune in in order to save yourself. And so two things in particular is over. Two things that may have been causing somebody some frustration that was causing you to go into escapism is now over. Death card, death card. So you can focus on the rebirth of some things or you can continue staying over analyzing the ending of something, right? So Madre Tierra. So source is saying the cycle is this is attached to Saturn. You feel like you got, you've been all around Mother Earth with this. Like I've been around and around as many times in my thinking about this and I... It's hard for me to change my change my mind to something positive when I think about certain people, places, and things. It's time for me to detach. It's time for me to move on so I can start enjoying this year. Here we have the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Dame of Pentacles, and also the Four of Pentacles. Five and four is nine. Again, further, nine is the number for death rebirth. I need to get away from egotistical, um, tyrannical energies that have tried to waste my time for the long, last time. I need to get away from those types of energies. I need to physically stay away, leave the past behind in word, thought, and deed. I need to stop overthinking it. I need to move on because I still don't have... I, for somebody, somebody's like, okay, they're still not in that position to forgive yourself from having those thoughts. So it's causing a lot of temptation. I don't have the most positive thoughts. Um, part of it too, when you see this right here, this particular card right here, which is not by coincidence, is being compared to other people. Is this comparison being compared to if you're a parent being compared to the other parent, if you're a child being compared to the other child, the other sibling, if you're the ex being compared to, if you're the current being compared to the ex, like this comparison spirit. So it's like, you're already worthy. You're good enough. Your card is the hermit card. Shed that old hermit crab shell and say and go through that transition recognize hey you are good enough you're worthy you just don't want to be connected to other people's drama that's a that that's a fair assessment <laughs> you don't want to be compared to other people's low self-esteem you don't want to be you don't want to be connected to their narcissism like you don't and that's okay so if they want to make it about compare when I say it's you versus you, it's not you versus them. If they really believe it's you versus them or you they trying to compare you to somebody else, that's an issue they have within themselves. This that's them. That's them. That's something they have to work out within themselves through prayer and meditation. That has nothing to do with you. Here we have the Dame of Pentacles. So if they want to be in that kind of a hell of comparison and they're trying to drag you into it with your thoughts, knowing that you're going to analyze every little detail, every, but well, what about this? And let me look at this and let me look at that. So it's just like, it's time for you to enjoy this year of wealth. <laughs> what, what day are you going to start enjoying it? Because we, in case you haven't reckoned, in case you haven't figured it out, we're already on the other side. So yeah, so we're already on the other side. Sources said, hang in there with yourself. You crave bliss. And so don't go into um, don't go into escapism, pouring out all of this, um, uh, you know, allowing people to drain you and pouring out emotion to it could literally cause a person to drink or start medicating or, you know, getting it drinking. You know, like I said, a lot of caffeinated drinks, um, multitasking. I need to I need to do something. I just I'm just too agitated. I'm I have too much anxiety. I got to do this and I got to do that. And you're wearing yourself out just because. Um, like I said, somebody's still focusing on something from that's now the past. It doesn't matter how recent the past is, it's now the past, Virgo. And so source is really emphasizing, close it out, close it out, close it out. Here we have the hermit card. There it is. The emperor card, the three of pentacles, the magician card, the seven of pentacles, and the six of cups. Yep. So the magician card came out twice. 
So some messages about a couple of things from your past. Source is saying it's time for you. It's time for you to start adding some structure to all these gifts and talents that you've been that have been handed down to you from somebody's mom or grandmother or something. Source is saying it's time for you to add some structure to all of this instead of just going along with the flow. It's time for you to spring forward. This emperor card right here is really about you know getting real serious about adding structure to your empire. Really, it's just like okay, well I'm. I'm, I'm, my money is growing. Everything is lining up perfectly for me. Um, I need to leave behind energies outside of my vault door that want to step into uh, something that's perfect. They want everybody, everything to be perfect. And I'm, you've exhausted yourself. It's caused you emotional wounding. They wish they had the perfect parents. They wish they had the perfect kids. They wish they had the perfect spouse. They had the wish they had the perfect life. Even energies that, that want to accuse you of having a perfect life as if you didn't work hard for it. Sources so like, leave that in the dust. Here we have the six of cups, you know, six of cups. And so sources said a lot of gifts and talents have been poured down to you. Have I mean, you know, two and six is eight minus one is seven. Sources so like in both your personal and your professional life, people want to step into something that's perfect without seeing all the hard work that you had to put into it. And you may be tempted to vibrate on a lower frequency and go back and explain yourself who, for these two types of energy sources. So like you don't need to explain to them because again, that would be you stepping down off of your throne with somebody still feels the need. I got to explain myself, explain yourself for what? Explain yourself for what? Like, like if you're a parent and you have to explain it to your children for the 999th time, which you had to go through in order to become who you are today and you're still becoming and you still have purpose and they didn't hear you the first 998 times, stop saying it. Eventually they'll get it. <laughs> Same thing if you're the child and you explain it to your parents for the 999th time or your um or your spouse or whomever keep explaining the same thing over and over and over again because sources are saying it's draining it's exhausting you have a purpose on this planet and so sources are saying two two things that was a causing emotional wounding and really it's two demons inside of you of it could be any kind of demons not feeling worthy and good enough feeling like okay i'm not communicating the message enough so it's just like okay it's time to dead the situation for real it's time to end the let's it's time to close it out it's time to wrap it up we're in a whole new cycle it's time to move forward and and take authority add some structure to some things in other words what i'm saying here is that even if you're not ending relationships it's time to show people better than you can tell them this is, I got, I got the same number of hours in a day that you do, right? I use some of those hours in a day. I'm using all those hours in a day to plant seeds. And I'm actually putting some structure to these seeds that I'm planting to make sure they're growing properly. Some need more sunlight than others. Some need more water than others, right? Some of them, they all need me to talk nicely to them in terms of growing all these seeds that you're growing. So it's harvest time for you. I see you showing people better than you can tell them. You keep trying to explain, somebody keeps trying to explain themselves. And again, you tempted to go back, right back to that in two situations. It's like, nope, I can show you better than I can tell you. I'm taking my power back unapologetically. It's a whole new day. That's what I have for you. And, um, and, um, as you are stepping through your vault door, leaving energies outside the vault door, enjoying your life. Like I said, focusing on your legacy right now, somebody's going to be feeling like this and you have a very rich legacy. So Put an end to, you know, this is where the purging is. Somebody is definitely purging those unhealthy and wounded emotions of being compared to not good enough. This, whatever, of course you are. I'll see you on Freedom Friday's message. Bye.